What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to do a valve adjustment on a Honda S2000. Uh, you typically do this as per Honda every 30,000 miles. So let me show you the tools you need to do the job. Uh, these two are the main tools that you need. So this is gonna help you uh, loosen and adjust, loosen and adjust the set screw on the valves. And this is what you're gonna use. This is a filler gauge, angled filler gauge. Uh, you're gonna use this to check your adjustments, make sure they're in spec. Uh, I'll, I'll let you guys know the spec of all the adjustments. I'll put it on the screen. You wanna make sure the number one cylinder is on top of the center. You're gonna do that by, there's gonna be little marks on each cam gear. So there's a mark right here and a mark down there. So once you turn the crank, you wanna make the two marks meet each other. And there's also gonna be a mark here on the gear for the crank. It's supposed to come up straight. And these two cam gears, the little notches are supposed to face each other. So that's when you know the cylinder one is on top of the cylinder. So for the crank, crank bolt is a 19 millimeter. I don't have a 19, I have an adjustable. So you can use that too. You don't have a 19 millimeter. And you wanna turn it clockwise. So I was talking about, you see there's a mark right here. And the mark right here, they align each other. And these two marks on the gear for the crank, they align along the head. So that's how you know you're in the first cylinders in top of the center. It's the thickness, the thickness between the valve and the set screw. So this is a 0 0.01. So you're gonna try to this is what it should be. So once you stick this in, once you stick it in, you wanna feel a little bit of drag. So this has the right amount of drag. You can feel it. This this is all about feeling. So hence this gauge being a feeler gauge. So you just wanna feel a little bit of drag, but nothing too crazy. like where you could put it in, pause, <laughs> and take it out easy. So this one is good, I didn't need to adjust it. And this one, let's see. And this is why you need the the angled filler gauge because with the straight one, you wouldn't be able to get it in. So same with this one, has a little drag, but has a little drag, but it's perfect this one's good now let's do the intake side on the on cylinder one on the intake side I'm gonna use the the 0 0.9 0 0.09 right here you can see has a little bit of a drag but for the most part, it's still in spec. Uh, let's check this one. This one is tight. I came and get the same one in. Yeah, so this one I have to loosen this up and adjust the set screw and then tighten it back up and then see if I could get this same uh, gauge back in so this is the tool the tool is on you see is a flathead on the set screw right and you just hold hold this down like this and then loosen it turn this counterclockwise once it's on there and let me see if i can show you this so it's on the set screw then you bring this down hold it as you turn it and you loosen it and now you move this I want to turn it a little bit and then tighten it 
tighten it back down. Then I grab my filler gauge to check my adjustment. And I loosen it too much. Well, you guys see how I put this, I put the filler gauge in and it just glides in and out so easily. I have to tighten, I loosened it too much. So now I have to sign it back. That's basically what you do. You just tighten it till you get it within spec. You might loosen it too much. You might tighten it too much. You just gotta play around with it until you get it right. Once you have your clearances in spec, you can now uh, torque down the uh, set screw. Uh, the torque on this is 14 foot pounds. Make sure you're still in spec before you clamp it down. Once you torque all the uh, all the set screws down, uh, you gotta turn the crank 180 degrees. So we could go to top dead center on cylinder three. You'll know once it's in top dead center because you'll see this point is gonna reach the top over here, and the one right here is gonna point straight down. to get to the ones on the third cylinder, so I'm gonna take this little shield off right here. Same thing as cylinder one. Check over here. Make sure they inspect. Try to get it as straight as you can. I know it's a little bit like, it's a little awkward over here. Can't really get it straight, but try the best that you can. Once you get it in between, like try to flex it to make sure since it's angled, try to like bring bring the tool down so you can get it as straight as possible. So you get a more accurate reading. After you do the first one, you kind of get a little better or a little bit more familiar of how it feels. The exhaust side is good. Let me check the intake side. This one's a little harder than, than the other one. perfectly in spec. You know, you might do this and you might need to just only like one or two. So, um, yeah, sometimes you don't have to adjust any because they're already in spec. And if they're already in spec, just leave it alone, continue to the next cylinder. So, uh, we, we're gonna do this. We did one, did three, we're gonna go four, and then the last one's gonna be two. So, do the same thing. Crank it over 180 degrees, and yeah, let's do it. On cylinder four, you'll see these marks. Uh, the exhaust side is gonna be facing this way, and the intake side is gonna be facing that way. So this should be a straight line, even. So we know we're on top of that center on cylinder four. You can also see the cam lobes. You can see the lobes are like not resting on the rockers and they're like uh, the intake side is paint, uh, facing up and this one's facing up so it has less resistance on the on the arm. So let's check the exhaust side. Cylinder 4 exhaust side is good. Now, Let's check the intake side. If it uh, makes it easier for you, it does for me. Just take, I'm using uh, 0 0.009 for the intake side and 0.10 for the exhaust. You could just take it out of the holder. And for me, it makes it easier. And holding one thing instead of the whole tool. So that might help you guys out. having a lucky day I don't have to adjust two of them already they are in spec cylinder three and four are good 
Now, let's move on to the last cylinder. Same thing. Crank 180 degrees. when this mark reaches the top and this one reaches straight down. You wanna come to the front of the engine just so you can have a better, see a little bit better. You have to go a little bit more. And we're on point. Top dead center, cylinder two. You can see that the, uh, the cam uh, lobes, they're facing that way and this one's facing this way. And you can take the the rocker and it makes that noise and you move it around that means there's less resistance you can even see like the mark of it like dragging a little on the on the tool so that's how you know you you have it uh, in spec let's do intake on cylinder two. This one's a little bit tricky because I have uh, the wiring is sort of like getting in my way. But you kind of have to finesse it. You only have to adjust cylinder one. All the rest of them were fine. Uh, that's pretty cool. That means I don't have to, you know, waste any more time adjusting. Everything's in spec. So that's what you really want to see. You want to, you will hope for that everything's already in spec. Um, if you keep up with the valve adjustment, it shouldn't really go out of spec that much. Or like in my case, like only couple of them need adjustment. We're gonna put the valve cover back on. That's it. You did your valve adjustment and valve cover gasket. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you aren't already. See you next time.